this is how you open the new interface slot at the IPU drivers and uh, we're just about to start shipping our new interfaces so this is the inter interface bay and this is what the new interfaces look like this is an uh, analog interface so it features a 0 to 10 volt input and a fault output with a smaller jack so this is basically an open, uh, open collector output so you can link that for example to your uh, apex um, breakout box and then as soon as you as the pump is in error um, you'll be able to see that error uh, on the apex so you just simply slide this in and then you put the screws back in and that's it and then you can adjust the uh, values that you want to have in the software of the drivers this works from driver software uh, 3.2.1 so that's the latest software so all drivers that are being produced right now feature that software if you don't have that software we'll be uh, we'll be able to update your driver um, in the factory or at our apvs so uh, for the us market for example we'll um, be able to have those uh, updated at coralview so if you uh, have these IPU drivers you basically can almost now get these interfaces and uh, well the next ones are coming soon so hopefully you're able to read all this so if the driver starts up i just put the interface in and now you navigate to the menu there's our firmware so if you have 3.2.1 then it will work so uh, there you see the aux mod setting so it says an apex interface so uh, yeah you press the start stop button to set the power that the pump is supposed to do at zero volts so you you can adjust that if you want to in this case we'll just leave it <clears throat> and then at 10 volts so at maximum it says 100 percent you can adjust that so if you want the pump to do a little bit less you just keep this button pressed and then you adjust that to your desired speed and then uh, you'll have a linear uh, connection between the input value and the output power then you press m again and now you can choose to activate that or leave it deactivated so if we activate that uh, now the pump is stopped you can still use that start stop button now with the latest software um, since we don't have any voltage in uh, we can stop that, but it will say 0% as we don't have any voltage coming in. You see the voltage right here. So that's basically it.